nice winter's December, beginning of December, and we are back to collect a cheap 2013 pop from BCA. Um, hoping that I can get it done and dusted as maybe like a cheap Christmas gift for someone. So, yeah. Um, let's go and uh, let's go and collect it and uh, see what we've got. Okay, so here is the 2013 pop that um, that I purchased. I'm gonna do a little walk around. There's some things I already know about, and I'm hoping there's not going to be anything else that's going to be a surprise. Obviously, the first thing to note is this this here. The way that wing looks like it's been pushed in slightly so we've got a slight crease there and then <clears throat> that wing is ever so slightly but you might be able to pull that out just to straighten it up a bit these hubcaps are pretty awful but the tires are in good condition there's nothing so you can see there's tiny down here The sill is not uh, as straight as it probably could be, if I'm being honest with you. But you wouldn't really know from being up here. You wouldn't really be able to say that was the case. But down there, um, yeah, it's not as straight as it could be. Um, and then, yeah, again, there's no issues with those tyres tiny little bits of paint uh, defects there uh, what else have we got haven't tried the the wiper but we'll uh, have a look there we've got again a bit of paint defect there little bits down there but they can all be touched up um, bit there but again, I mean, it's very difficult to tell when it's got um, beading on it. But from this side, I think there's a tiny, you can see a tiny, it's not a crease, it's like, it's slightly bulged here. But you wouldn't see that, or you can't really see that. I think it's because I remember in the pictures that it's there. Um, otherwise... Now this bumper's been re-sprayed and the only reason you can tell is because that, which is normally black, is white. And then they've highlighted the fact that this needs some work on that. And then strangely you've got some almost like paint residue on there. But that can be sorted out. Um, so, yeah. Uh, any dents on the roof? It doesn't look to be, so that looks all right. Uh, MOT is good with no advisories, so that's handy. And um, yeah, uh, on the inspection report, they do advise that it's low on coolant. Let's have a quick check on the old engine. I'll come into the interior in a minute. Oh yeah, tiny bit of paintwork there that needs sorting out. So, Check of the engine oil. It seems to be all right. Very difficult to tell about the coolant level. I think it's just on minimum. That's all from looking at that. But I haven't got far to go anyway before I can top that up, and I'm hoping that's. Hopefully, it's not a leak. It's just not been topped up. Although. 
I think it's only had a service end of last year so yeah uh, but otherwise it looks all right here um, let's have a quick check in the back here so it doesn't have the red seat which is good got the floor mats space saver yeah um, yeah the interior is pretty clean to be fair that's not been touched so but the mirror the, the uh, wiper blade is all in place so let's just get in Just whack this on a minute, get the window up, take the city button off. Right, let's give it a start, shall we? Half a tank of fuel, which is good, gets me home. Um, the service booklet always comes in there, so, but, um, yeah, we need to get that sorted out. But yeah, it's last had its service end of last year. 95,000 miles on the clock. We'll allow the engine to get warm before we can hear it properly. Um, but yeah, otherwise, inside, it's all pretty nice and clean. Um, got a small cubby hole here. And I think... There's, there's something in that, but I can't get to it because I haven't got the fingers to do it. You need like a flathead just to pop that out. But I think that's almost like a bag of, no, oh. because when I keep pulling that, that's uh, like bin liners or something. Uh, right, what else do we need to know? Let's just, so when you've got your foot on the clutch, the noise goes, take your foot off the clutch, then you can ever so slightly hear it, but we'll have a, we'll have a drive, see what we think of that, might need a new clutch, new flywheel or something, but we'll, uh, we'll test that one out, um, yeah. Uh, what else have we got? Oh, we've got a frog. They like to keep their car smelling good because we've got endless. One there. I don't know if they're... I think they might just be... I don't think they're smelly stuff. But, um, yeah, we've got those. Um, and then I'll have a quick... Just double check in here since we're here. Actually, let's have a... See if we've got any. We have got a CD. It's been left in there. Paul loves a good CD. Pop Party 11. There's always things like that. Pop Party in the last couple of 500s I've had. Um, right, let's have a look in the seat. I very much doubt anything's going to be. Oh, it is left in there. And ironically, blimey, ironically. <laughs> Someone who likes their cleaning stuff. We've got, unfortunately, small gloves, which are of no use to me. That's quite handy to have. And then we've got one, two door handles. A whistle. for World Surf League. Is that anti-back? No, it's a glucose shot. So someone was using that. Not everyone knows about that, but someone was using that one. Didn't clean that out. But yeah, right. We will now look to get this back and hopefully it's gonna drive just fine and 
I can just simply clean it. I'm going to get rid of those hubcaps, uh, get them back to the original colour because I prefer that. And yeah, we'll uh, get some heating actually. And uh, we'll get it back. And I will do another quick video when I get back home just to let you know how it drives. Okay, so the journey's done. I've left the um, engine running. I don't know if you can hear this noise. Let me see if I can. But in idle, there's a rough sort of sounding noise. But when you obviously put your foot on the clutch, it goes. Take your foot off the clutch and it gets that noise. So I think it needs a new... Um, I think it needs a new clutch kit. So, otherwise, other than that, it seems to drive absolutely fine. And there's no other rattles or anything. So, yeah. Um, I was going to open this, but let's see if I can open this. Bear with me. Let me just put you down. I'll come back to you. So, service-wise... Glenn Hopkins has dealt with this quite a bit. Then we then moved to probably an independent in Finchampstead. I talk about minor service and then a full service. And then we ended up in literally a thousand miles ago at a Fiat specialist but obviously there's no sign of a cam belt change but then you don't put that in these that's the that's the thing there's nothing you, you don't indicate where you put a cam belt or change a cam belt you have to sort of rely on someone to do some documents or or provide you with a document to say you've had a cam belt change so yeah uh don't know about that but anyway that is that um i don't know how many oh that's the spare key by the way so you do get a spare key what i'll do let's just turn this engine off let me again see if this has got how many owners again that it's got? Bear with me. So it's got, it's had three owners. Um, so yeah, we can sort all of that out. Um, yeah. So if I can get the clutch done, then otherwise it's going to be a good car, and hopefully I can get it all done and dusted and 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 up for sale and sold hopefully before christmas as some sort of christmas present that was i think my thinking behind it um that yeah so yeah good they work so yeah that's what i'm thinking i'll uh i'll make contact today with the mechanic and see whether or not um obviously i need to get a clutch kit ordered and then hopefully we can have that sorted within a week or so so yeah that's going to be the 2013 non-categorized pop um with a minor little clutch problem but other than that first job of the day is to get this squeaking rear shocker off so a couple of bolts will get that out it's just squeaking it's really annoying like literally you only have to go along the road and it squeaks it don't even have to hit any hole or anything it just squeaks as it continuously moves so um yeah it's just replacing that one um to get that, that out so it's out i'm gonna just try and show you or get you to listen to this annoying squeak hopefully the phone will pick it up but if i push down on it
hopefully you can pick that up so I'm gonna bin that off get rid of that I think it could be the original you know it's very very old but it's certainly within the strut and it's certainly not these that are causing the issue so we're coming to the end of this car it hasn't really as I say needed much doing however we have a rattle it's quite annoying now it's not a loose plastic it's a metallic-y sound and it's coming from this I think it's coming from this sort of area it's either in here it's under here but it's basically it's not all the time but it it's almost like something metal hitting another metal item and yeah just trying to work out what it is now um i've you can hear it when you shut the uh the driver's door so i'm going to just try and replicate that now so bear with me i'm going to sit in the car let's see if we can hear it on this side right so you can hear it let's try it down here let me just put this on right let's open just going to open and shut that door again don't know if you heard that we'll find out in the editing so um i'm gonna just keep probably shutting that door until i can work out where that noise is coming from might have to do a bit of acrobatics in this car and end up lying on the floor down here to try and see or hear where that noise is coming from so yeah i'm not going to bore you with it i am going to get back to you and hopefully i've sorted it otherwise if not not sure really given the value and the price of the car that i really want to spend too much time on it but we will uh yeah we'll just see what we get right if this gives you the the idea of just how uh going to the depths of what's going on oh this is interesting i don't know if you can see this but we've got this here oh god i can't get my hand in because i'm upside down i think this is the noise here but i can't work out because look that's a plug i can't work out what that one's for and it's clearly potentially something should be bolted onto or screwed onto this so i'm really sure well, that should be that's weird isn't it but anyway i think that that's the problem so we need to somehow secure that so that's not the rattle so excuse for the strained voice when you're talking upside down but that is the problem so Let's uh, try and sort that out and get that out of the way to stop the knocking. And then we're nearly there. Oh. Oh. Yeah, right. Might have to find a cable tie or something to do that. But yeah, if anyone knows what that is, please do let me know in the comments. And hopefully that's that rattling sorted. once again um yeah trying to work in such cramped conditions i mean luckily luckily it's all open at the back but trying to work in these cramped conditions underneath is really difficult um so managed to strap it i'm not going to show it but it is it is strapped in there now so i'm hoping that is the uh problem solved on that one other than that 
Uh, tell you what I'm missing. I'm just missing the service history on this one actually. Just come to think of it. Must be somewhere. I'm sure it is in the car. I know I've got it. Pretty sure I have. Anyway, thinking out loud. Um, need to put on the hubcaps, which I've restored. So we'll get them on. And I've got to do a small little thing here, which I'm just waiting on something to arrive. So I'm probably not going to get it done before the video goes out. But we just need to sort out this edge in here because it's just sticking out and yeah it's it's not good so gonna have to I think pull that out bend it so that's going to be for another video in the meantime uh yeah i'll uh, i'll get the hubcaps on i didn't see that A little dent there that's annoying actually i mean yeah but uh, right, let's get those hubcaps on just to make it look ever so slightly better. Oh, good, the sun's out, which uh, isn't great for recording, but uh, it's good for working because, um, yeah, just a bit too cold at the moment, or has been. Um, right, so we have the hubcaps on, uh, given those a complete refurb, sanded them back, resprayed them and um, lacquered them so they are all on so that's good um, not going to bother with the cleaning of it yet because I uh, don't really see the need for that until uh, everything is good to go uh, in the inside we had a bit of um, fungus growing unfortunately in the rear down there so I've treated that and that just now needs to do its work the these are the mats that came with it which I'm sure you've seen before so I've put those in and uh, won't put in the rear one until that's dried gave the seats are going over as well um, nothing too heavy i've just used i'll put it in the doors it's basically just vanish um, it's like a spot cleaner thing it pretty much does the job when you don't need to clean the whole seats as well uh, it's all been hoovered inside so that is good and yeah so really the only things that are left to do now or find the log book which uh, I've, I've just gone knows where that's gone um, need to find that and we need to work on that corner panel which I told you about and need to give it a clean um, and yeah that is it so um, we'll probably do one more video and then we can move on and get this one up for sale as well so, yeah, little pops always tend to be quite easy to work on, really. I never really had an issue um, with pops too much. It's always the lounge ones that seem to have the issues. But, uh, yeah. So, I think that's going to be the end of uh, this video for today. We will be back with another video in uh, a week's time. Um, as uh, I build up um, uh, to a reveal um, coming up which I'll go into and it'll be a guess the car one but in the meantime I'm again always looking out for 500s and uh, seeing what we can get um, but yeah in the meantime thank you all for watching thank you for subscribing please hit the like button please hit the subscribe button please comment as well it all helps the channel and until next time see you all soon